Hey friends, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding a video that I had posted about using Google Meet for distance learning and using a document camera for the purpose of running a live session with something underneath it and teaching from there. Uh, and there is some issues with it. And what is ending up happening is the text is actually flipped, mirrored. And I'm gonna address how do you deal with that issue? All right, so there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. So here's a, a IPvo Ziggy. There's lots of different models of document cameras out there. Uh, there's Hovercam, IPvo, Elmo, um, Epson. There's lots of brands out there. So I don't know if the different ones respond differently. I know that Hovercam and both Hovercam and IPvo that we have an issue where it gets mirrored. So what I'm going to do is show you how you deal with those steps. Okay. So first off, you need to plug in your Ziggy and you need to have your document camera ready to go and you need to have Google Meet ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, all right? So once I do that, what ends up happening is it's going to flip right here in Google Meet. It's gonna access that camera. So you do this before students are ever in here. The next thing I'm gonna do, that's step one, plug it in, have it ready to go. Step two is to make sure that you go to the settings in Google Meet like so and you need to switch your video so that way it's not your IPvo camera or your document camera that you're accessing. I know that's different than what I said in my original video, so I apologize for that. So now to deal with that, to make it so that way you can actually view it, you need a piece of software. Now you may already have this, you may not. But what I love about IPvo, and I do not get any kickback from them by any means, I get no money for these. I just promote them because they they offer their stuff for free. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I, I Googled IPvo Visualizer. It took me here. Um, I'm going to go to the free downloads. They have them for different platforms. I'm using Google Chrome. So because I'm using Google Chrome, what I'm going to do is use their app. OK, I'm going to go ahead and launch this. If you already have it installed, Visualizer, then you can actually just search it on your Chromebook just to show you that it's available there. So first thing was that you needed to plug in your camera. Two, in Google Meet, you need to switch your camera. Three, open Visualizer. Do it in that order. If you don't, then you get this message saying that the, the resolution isn't correct for this uh, software. So just be aware of that and you'll see, hey, the text is not flip-flopped. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do with Visualizer in the background, I'm gonna click here. So it's still running in the background. It's right down here on the bottom on my shelf. It's that way on a PC as well. So just keep in mind, you can run both, but I'm not going to close it. I'm not gonna minimize it or close it. I'm gonna leave it and just click on Chrome there. So that way it goes behind my Chrome browser. So that when I hit present now, here's what happens. When I hit present now, I have the option of your entire screen or your window. Now you can do this your entire screen and then just pull it up. That's fine if you want to do it that way. But I kind of get a little picky and I like the idea of when I present, this shows you how to present just a window. So I have it floating in the background. I'm going to hit window and that allows me to have IPvo visualizer as selected. Now the key is, is that it has to be running. It can't even be minimized. If you minimize it, it's this way with, with all Android apps actually as well. You have to have it running in the background and just floating back there. So now when I select it and I hit share, then what happens is I'm presenting, but I'm presenting just my visualizer. So when I'm presenting this, that means that all that the people are viewing at this time is what's under this camera, like so. So that way I'm able to manipulate it, I'm able to read, I'm able to write if I have a piece of paper. Um, if you have a Chromebook like my teachers have, the Lenovo 500D, it comes with a fine tip stylus. It's kind of cool because on Visualizer, there is a pen tool and so you could potentially write on the screen and they have some different options in there. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Oh, and you can also freeze. So there's a freeze option down here. Just try the different buttons in here. I'm moving this deck of cards right now. You can't see it. OK, I'm going to unfreeze that and that allows you to be able to move it again. OK, so some different options that are built into IPvo Visualizer. Uh, it's not a 
overall all encompassing tutorial, but it at least shows you that you can do it. So I'm going to click here. And then when I'm done, I would hit stop presenting. Now, if I hit stop presenting, it's going to mess with my recording at this point and it's going to stop my recording. And I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. But then uh, once you hit stop presenting, they aren't going to see that. They're going to go back into camera mode here and you'd be able to talk to them. Or you could just keep it up. That's fine, too. But the cool thing is, is by choosing the window instead of your entire screen, then the only thing that they see is what's under here. And you could potentially move this around, do some other things. You could see what they were doing uh, off to the side here while you're presenting at the same time. So it allows you to do both things at the same time. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that those steps are clear. One, plug in your camera. Two, change the camera on Google Meet. Three, open IPVO Visualizer. And then four, present just IPVO Visualizer. Make sure you don't minimize it. Present just a window, and then you should be good to go. Hope distance learning is going well for all of you. See you later.